Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I really appreciate you being here. Um, so following on from my previous video about transaction analysis, today I wanted to talk a bit about the loss cycle. Again, this is something that will probably come up at points um, throughout various videos on series and stuff, uh, because again, it's kind of underpinned a lot of um, my growth and my kind of change of mindset, I suppose, over the last uh, year or so. So yeah, I'm gonna move over here again, woo. Um, I'm gonna hopefully put up a diagram, if I've managed to do that, um, about the loss cycle and what that looks like. So I think most people understand, we talk about this all the time, we talk about, oh, if um, we have a bereavement, we talk about the stages of bereavement, they talk about how there's seven stages to bereavement. Um, so, I wanted to, I'm going to do a really bad thing now because I've said I'm not going to edit my videos and I probably will edit this because I'm going to quickly get, because I don't have the diagram in front of me, I'm going to quickly get the diagram in front of me. So I might edit that bit out, don't judge me for it. Um, so, da, 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 da. this is the hold music, maybe I won't edit this bit out, maybe it'll be hilarious that I'm just here kind of doing my own thing, chatting la, 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 and stuff. Right, so... Where's it gone? There it is, the lost cycle. So, diagram that I've hopefully put here that I don't have for me, I've now got up my phone in front of me. Um, the lost cycle, most people don't realise that this lost cycle applies to absolutely every type of loss that you can experience in life. So we're not just talking about, um, you know, when we have a bereavement and somebody close to us passes and we have to work through that process of loss. You know, we're actually talking about the loss of um, relationships or friendships, all these types of things are things that we have to work through and part of that is just being human, is working through the loss cycle. So to talk a bit about it, so first off, obviously denial. This isn't happening to me. I'm not going through this. Then you enter the anger stage. Why is this happening to me? Why are you doing this to me? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. It's their fault. You get it's very energetic, very high, which is why it's marked up so high. So you've got high level energy because you're so angry. Um, after that, you get to the bargaining bit. I'm reading this. Um, so, you know, why me? You blame it on yourself. It's my fault. You start to kind of get low because you think, oh, why is this happening to me? I'm looking at the situation I'm stuck in now. Um, I never expected this to happen. It's all my fault. I should have done this differently. All that type of stuff. Um, sometimes it's around this bargaining bit where you see, for example, in terms of a relationship, you try and fix it. So you try and go, I'll change. You know, all this stuff comes out of the bargaining bit of I'll change, we can try again, that stuff, bargaining bit. Then you hit what's possibly the lowest point of the um, lost cycle, obviously, which is the depression. There's no real way of explaining the depression. It's just feeling crap, you know? It's, um, you get, you can get quite sleepless but you can also feel really sleepy you know you can spend days and days and days in your bed and be really sad um so that's the kind of that's the depression stage um after that you start to sleep a bit better you know sleeping improves your energy levels start to increase and then you get towards acceptance you know accepting that it's happened um feeling hope for the future not feeling like you're stuck in it not feeling like it's part of your every waking day that's the basics of the lost cycle However, what I think I wanted to kind of explain a bit more, because let's face it, you could just, I, you could just Google that, you know, why do I need to be a, um, but basically what I wanted to cover specifically with regards to um, the kind of, the, the lost cycle, and for me especially in terms of, I'm talking um, from my experience, you know, I have suffered loss through bereavement, but particularly over the last year, a lot of working through the lost cycle has been part of a relationship breakdown. So specifically from that point of view, what I didn't understand was that A, every single person that experiences loss goes through this cycle knowingly or not. You know, some people are not aware of going through this cycle, but they just do. It's the way that our, our brain processes loss from a psychological perspective. Um, so that, and also it doesn't work in order. It just doesn't work in order, you know. And I really struggled over the past year because there were times when I was, I went through really, really angry. And then I start to feel low, and then I start to feel really angry again, and then I maybe accepted it a bit. You know, I had moments where I was like, this is okay, I'm gonna be all right, I'm happy on my own, all this kind of stuff. And then the day later I was stuck in bed and depressed again, and then I was angry again, and you know, and it was just a mess. Like it is not, I know how the diagram looks, it looks like it's a lovely little, you know, and you go, I'm feeling better now, things are gonna improve. No, they don't. 
no, because you can go back into it. Um, and I think, especially with bereavement, actually, when it comes to bereavement, you get to acceptance, but then even years down the line, you know, occasionally you can tap into a bit of anger or tap into a bit of depression about your loss, all these types of things. You know, it's never going to fully, fully go away, but it gets to a point where you're more in acceptance than you are not. And like I said, over the past year, what I found most helpful as well, not just learning that it moves around, it changes, is that everybody goes through it. So when you have, um, you know, your relationship is break down, if you go straight into a new relationship, you will still be processing the loss of your old one. Now the difference is the same as if you suddenly, um, I don't know, like you had a crazy social life or you moved or you distracted yourself, you're basically distracting yourself with other things, um, but you still have to, your brain still has to go through this process and this loss cycle. So um, for a long, long time when I, uh, when my relationship broke down, I kept really, really busy. So I had my children obviously, but then when I didn't have my children when they're with their dad, I kept really, really busy. You know, I was I was uh, off visiting new places, spending time with people, loads of friendships. I just kept busy all the time. Um, and then I wondered why, in those small moments when I was on my own, I really, really struggled. You know, I was really depressed or I was really sad. And I didn't realise that even though I was keeping distracted and keeping busy, I was still working through this lost cycle kind of in the background. Um, and by not allowing myself to work through those things and feel those things um all it meant that was that I was just kind of holding it off so I was kind of going no you can't be depressed because we're going to Bristol this weekend it's going to be wonderful hold it off hold it off hold it off so then when I had like an hour on my own it would hit me and it would hit me really hard and it's taken a long time for me to go do you know what I am okay on my own you know and for me I'm at this point now where I'm firmly in acceptance like I'm pretty cool most of the time occasionally still get um reflective I would say I wouldn't say I'm angry uh or low but I still get reflective uh sometimes but um yeah it took me a long time to get to a point where I felt like I could be on my own and that I wouldn't be kind of swamped by depression or anger or all those types of feelings because I hadn't worked through them but equally you know you need the time on your own to actually process those feelings because otherwise they don't go away you know it just will hit you at moments and then you'll go oh my god why am I sitting at my desk at work crying oh actually I'm really sad about this still why am I still sad about that it's been a year it's been two years it's been what no because you haven't processed it you know and um sometimes I think that we have a tendency when relationships, specifically relationships, break down, where we expect ourselves to be better more quickly. So it's been a year, you should feel better. Actually, you should feel however you're feeling, you know, regardless. You know, if you choose that um, you want to kind of uh, focus on working through things and you want to um, give yourself that time and not distract from things so much and you just want to, um, you know, be kind to yourself and look after yourself, and work through things then that's great um but if you feel like actually i would like a distraction and you know i have and and you know lots of people meet new people that they really love being around and and that's just the way that it works out with when they meet someone new so this isn't a judgment on i'm not saying oh when this loss happens you need to work through it i'm just saying that um we need to be kinder to ourselves and to understand that um you know there's no timeline for getting through loss in however that looks um but what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk about it put this diagram thing up if i've managed to do it um because i will be referring to it um i will be referring to things like he was distracting himself um or not himself but or i was distracting myself or whatever i'll be referring to those things in later videos so i just wanted to have this as like a point of reference exactly the same as i did with my video on transactional analysis which if you haven't checked it out do um but basically i just wanted to have this video on the lost cycle um, so that when I refer back to it, I can link back to it in the future. But basically, that is um, kind of my understanding of the lost cycle. 
it's been really helpful for me to understand the loss cycle and to use that when I am working out things and when I am considering things. So, um, and it's really helped me with mindfulness as well to understand other people's perspectives. So that's why I wanted to address it in this video. And um, yeah, I will come back to it in future videos. But anyway, I hope that you have found this helpful. Again, like I've said before, if I'm actually wrong on this, if there's like psychologists that are watching this going, you're totally wrong, uh, please let me know. Cause I just, you know, I'm, um, I'm not gonna get offended. I'm not that type of person. I'm really happy to grow as a human being. So if I've got stuff wrong, tell me or email me, whatever, let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys are all having good days wherever you are and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.